Hello comrades, so today we're going to learn how to tween your rockets or whatever you want using animation curves from the script. So let's see, we'll need a script which will have target assigned to it. Here is a target which is shifted by X, by Y and by Z from our object which is rocket. A rocket with its model and here we have target referenced and animation curves that we will use to actually tween. So let's go to our code and here you can see our code. So public transform target is basically our target, then animation curves is list of curves that we'll use and here we have two coroutines. Basically it's the same method, I will just explain you how it works so you can make it your own. So we start a coroutine, move using curve, this one, and we pass a parameter origin target, duration, and animation curve. So origin will be a position of our rocket, target will be a position of our cube, then we want to move it in 4 seconds, and we want to use animation curve at index 0 from our list to move it. What do we have here? It's, it's a coroutine, so it will run in some time. Uh, so we have time passed, which is time that passed in start of the coroutine. Then we execute while loop until we reach the duration. And here we basically increase our time pass by the time from the last frame. Then we calculate the percentage uh, of time that's passed compared to the whole duration. We just do it by dividing time passed by duration and then clamping that value between 0 and 1. Here how we get percent. Because we need value from 0 to 1 to do animation curve.evaluate to get the value from curve. So basically uh, values on curves as you can see here they're limited from 0 to 1 let's say and if we for example reached 40% of our time then we'll get this value which will be here on this curve pretty close to 0 but if we reach 95% let's say it will be about half of our value. So let's get back to our code. So here we got our value. And what we do now, this value is from 0 to 1. We just modify our transform position of the rocket because this script is on the rocket. And we lerp it from origin, so the, our original point, to target. And we will use the curve percentage which is the value from Z curve to define at which percentage of distance this object will be. So for example, if curve percent is 95 and we use this curve to so 95, it will be about half distance through. So here it will be somewhere like here and then it will jump. If we run it, you can see what I mean. So first it's like for three seconds it's here and then it jumps. Yeah. So you can set basically any time. So let's say we set 10 seconds and let's change the curve. So it's more linear. We can just use predefined curve, which is relatively linear it's pretty linear. So it will move smoothly in 10 seconds with constant speed until it reaches the target. And go! Alright, so let's check the second option. In second option we will have three animation curves. One corresponds for X, another one for Y, another one for Z. So we can move basically by X, Y and Z with different speeds. So here we do the lerp, we create a new vector and instead of lerping the vector 3, we lerp each uh, coordinate. So X separate, Y separate and Z separate. But everything else is kind of the same. We also pass three animation curves by indexes 1, 2 and 3. 
So those are our curves. And what's interesting here, so by X it will move linearly. By Y it will first move up, then a bit down, then a bit up, and it will finish. And it will be pretty slow by that, but at the end it will jump. So let's see how it works. So, and as you can see at the end, Z was like pushing towards the camera and during all this time by X it was linear. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put a like on my video. Check other videos and see you in the next one.